all the locks and your cult leader yeah uh we're back at our spot as always as per the usual viewing lately there's uh, no real rhyme or reason to the vlog one thing that we're testing out is this um what would you call it a easy pull system for the clutch not that the wazid's clutch is uh, exceptionally heavy but uh, this makes it nice and light we actually need to get like one of those fishing scales to see check how many the, pounds it is difference. but i think it's more if your olive game isn't on on point <laughs> that's what it's for uh, for a little weak finger you know the concept is obviously from the lever into here and from the clutch into here you've got a little arm that changes the pivot point uh, you've got multiple points uh, where you can select the the difference in leverage if that, it makes the clutch pull a lot lighter anyways there's a uh, rain coming and we need to ride and film so let's get going okay so i wanted to take you guys through the process of uh, kind of cutting a new track and breaking it in the start it's quite slippery with the amount of duff on the ground lap by lap uh, the track starts breaking down and we break through to the clean dirt below and then you start getting a lot more traction there were quite a few thralls and spills so uh, i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> through the first section a couple of times we go back and talk about what we want to change and then we actually go and remove obstacles uh, branches that need to be trimmed Zane is clearing out a little ditch here that was uh, kind of launching us into the tree and I'm chopping up some roots that can get stuck to your foot and foot peg uh, there is usually quite a bit of manual labor involved going back cleaning trees Clean, clearing the track and so on. After resetting the cameras, we jump right into the next section. And to get as much training as possible, we start running the entire section of the track. Then we go back all the way to the start and we run it over and over and over again. <laughs> mentioned the duff is very thick in this area and uh, it's not good for stopping on that stuff is extremely slippery and Zane uh, even though it doesn't quite look like it he tried his best to not destroy my arm the best way to get over a crash like this is to reset and run the section even harder than you did before. From this point on, my bike kind of started to run less than optimal. You'll see later in the video, it just starts getting slower we eventually ended up uh, getting a rake and opening up the the soil a bit if your front wheel got out of the rut that it would kill all your momentum reset and on to the next section now this is before we did more manual labor and as you can hear the KT is sounding not too good as I mentioned we're running the whole track back and forth back and forth so we're starting to get quite a bit fatigued and uh, we start missing corners and the speed starts dropping a little bit at this stage
on to the second to last segment. Unfortunately, the GoPro started failing at this point. I had a GoPro on the inside of the berm that got some killer shots. The GoPro just freezes up and you can't actually use any of the footage to edit. This corner was a lot of fun. Another deep soft sand berm. <laughs> This final corner is a quick little zigzag out of the woods where you jump over a fallen down tree. So we are done filming this specific forest clip. We're gonna go film some jumps and some other stuff as well. I think tomorrow morning I'll do like a separate video as like a point of view for our whole forest sand track over here. So if you guys want to come out, as you know, uh, the Bronx is open for uh, riders. Like you just have to make a booking online. Uh, so yeah, that point of view footage will have like a good indication of what is uh, what tracks are available to ride at our property. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day and uh, just as we finished off riding yesterday uh, it started raining and it's been raining the whole freaking evening like i've almost got a jacuzzi in the back of my vehicle over here i'm gonna throw the gopro on my helmet and get you guys a point of view lap of the uh, track that we laid out yesterday my brain is not working today how are you feeling zane uh Nice and fresh and tender from, uh, from yesterday's ride. Nice and rainy. And we're like, ah, oh, maybe we shouldn't go ride. <laughs> and they were like, no, <laughs> we're definitely going to be riding. Uh, wet weather, it's going to be slippery, slip and slide. Yeah, and uh, if you're doing a race or roof or a race that if, or an event that you spent a lot of... Oh, fuck, sucks. Can't talk today. If, you, if you're doing an event where you spent a lot of money paying entrance and accommodation and transport if it's gonna rain you're gonna ride so you gotta practice in the same type of climate anyways what do you think majestic yeah. air flip <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too curious to see if the Katie is uh, busy eating a piston 
so i'm going to pull the exhaust off and take a look at the barrel and see if there's any scoring or if there's pieces of the piston missing or the rings busy failing No pieces of piston in the, uh, in the barrel. That's a good sign so far. Can we get it to focus inside the barrel? There we go. Fortunately, um, there's nothing wrong with the barrel or piston uh, as you can see it's a top dent dead center now there's no scoring on the side of the piston it's got good compression and you can i hope you guys can see it clearly i can see it clearly on the camera there's still like very distinct cross hatching or it's just a matter of the car being dirty because, I mean, you can't go from the bike running perfectly with a set of jets to, you know, three rides later at running like dog shit with the same fueling, um, with the same jets in it and weather conditions that are still very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, uh, I guess come back for the next video where we uh, dive into this thing to see if we can find a smoking gun and to see if we can get it sorted anyways thanks for watching remember to check out the website if you guys want to buy bronx branded stuff or if you want to do custom branding we're busy doing integrations on the website so pretty soon you'll be able to check out all the products we offer everything from custom branded apparel hats uh bottles you know generic corporate gifting stuff and if you guys are racing we're doing pit kits so that's gazebos pit mats gazebo walls directors chairs tablecloths you know everything you can possibly imagine branded ground sales so if you want to represent your brand at the races let us know we can hook you up with uh, some nice branded stuff <laughs>